Hello, bloody brothers and sisters, and welcome back to the Rising. So where we left off last time is we started our base up a little bit. I did a little extra resource farming so we can kind of just jump into the fun a bit today and talk about our first expansions before we go boss hunting. So I wanted to get this down just to kind of show everyone what we need to be doing and what we could be doing. So that way we can set down our base, get things primed and ready. And then we can set out and have a little fun while things are kind of working at the base. So, like we talked about before, we got our double sawmills down. And we've got a little vermin nest here. I'm probably not going to actually use this for much of anything, but it's there. And I'm just going to grab this stuff. I had some stuff just all around my storage as I built a couple more here just to hold it for us. And what I want to get next here is a forge. So with this, we can start smelting the copper. We're going to need 60 copper to get us going first. So I'm going to plop one here, and I'm going to do the same thing just right next to it. Again, we're going to utilize the two method. And I'm going to just send in one and a half, or like half of everything I have on me. So I'm just splitting the stacks in half with middle mouse button like that, and then shipping it in. So and you can see here, what we have is 20 ores will equal an ingot. So that'll start to cook while we're gone. It'll take 30 seconds per, so that's good there. And later we can start building around our exterior and getting some other things down. But first, I want to get this going just so when we come back, we can actually just have some good materials just kind of ready to go with that copper and we can do some big upgrades. So I'm just going to kind of dump everything we have into a chest here just so we can kind of get on the move. And good, that one's pretty empty. Excellent. So now what I want to do, oh, you know what we didn't build? I didn't build the blood altar, did I? Um, fundamentals, I need, it's not a blood, where is it? It's right here. I need the blood, nope, I need the blood altar. Where are you? That one? Exterior, lighting. Oh, I'm a fool. I need to get my gear level up. So, why don't we grab a bit of our goodies here? Uh, I'm gonna grab, let me go over here. So, I need to get my gear score, but I forgot that that blood altar was tied to the gear score. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our... Um, next level armor, the plated bone armor. So I'm just going to grab all of our animal hides back out of the chest here. Uh, which chest was it? Here it is. Grab those. And then queue this up. So with the reinforced mace, I can then just craft the armor set. And then I'll be all set with my good stuff. So if I grab some plant fiber and blood rose, I can also get my spell fire up. So I know I've got some plant fibers in there. And I know I've got all my flowers over here. I think that's just enough blood rose. Yep. And we'll just dump that blood rose back in here. And I'm just going to wait a moment for that to finish. And then we'll grab our stuff. And I want to build the, the blood altar. Because that's going to tell us where the bosses are. So grab all this. Excellent. So now we're geared up. Claim. And now let's construct the blood altar. So, and it was here. So, stone and blood essence. So, let me grab the stone. Blood essence. And let's just plop this down. I'm just going to plop it right here for the moment. Living compact until we get bigger. <clears throat> and now we can kind of go through here and get all, kill these bosses. So... We can go in order, and I probably will, because I know where some of these guys are. I don't know if they spawn differently, so I'll find out. But you can use this track blood feature, and this will give you an idea of the direction they're in. Now, you don't have to use this function. You can find all these creatures and everything on their own without using this feature. They exist in the world naturally. This just helps you find one you're looking for specifically. So you can see the blood's coming from this west area. So if I just head west, we'll eventually find this creature. I found this nice little bandit camp here. So I thought I'd bring you guys back in with me while we did this little fight. Just to make sure I like to talk about, like, even though we're going out for a boss, I'm not going to ignore all the goodies around the world either. Like, that'd just be silly, right? So I'm still going to make sure to fight everything I do come across and get some good resources. Like, right now, copper is going to be our main goal, right? So... As I find copper nodes, I'm going to make sure to collect it. And of course, make sure to be on the lookout for good quality blood. Um, one I like so far when I'm getting around is creature blood. If I find a good uh, qual quality of it, 
it gives me good movement speed buffs, so I've been able to get that. And I haven't found it in this world yet, but when I was doing the stream, I found a couple 100% creature blood, so that was really nice because the speed was nice and fast. So. so keep an eye out for blood at all times, and also keep an eye on your levels. Like I'm getting low, so probably the next creature I come across, I'm going to intentionally drink its blood, even if it's of a low quality, just to make sure I'm topped off. I wanted to show you this. I found... Worker blood of quality 38, and I hadn't had this type before. And look, tier one is increased resource yield. That's really good. Increased damage against resource objects. Mount gallop speed. So there's mounts in this game. And a 3% chance to instantly destroy a resource node and trigger a burst of speed. So oh, if you're looking out and going gathering, keep your eyes peeled. Try and find these like worker camps and get yourself a good quality worker blood because that'll take you real far with your progression. That's for damn sure. Like, that's really good to get. And these workers do have some pretty decent drops. One of them dropped for me Cloth, which is this right here. And it's a pretty rare, not rare, but at least rare at this stage in the game because it's pretty early. Um, I know I can use some of it a little later, but at least at the moment, there's not a lot of use for it because it's of a higher quality. So finding them now is pretty good. I'm topping off my health right now. I've got... Tristan the Vampire Hunter over here, whose level I can't see, and Doofus the Foreman over here, who I can see. Um, I don't know what my chances are here of fighting this guy, but we're going to go for him first because he's kind of... Oh my god. No. I did nine damage to him. Nope, we got to get out of here. I don't know what level this boy is, but he ain't something for us to fight right now. I'm just going to skirt away from him and come back for Doofus because... Look at this. Like, you, nothing to that damn it, that bar there. Absolutely nothing. See you later, Tristan the Vampire Hunter. We'll be back for you at some point, but I'm going to go kill Doofus once I lose you. If I lose you. I got him to aggro off of me. He's going that way. I'm going to come in here and try and kill Rufus real quick. Probably closer to this side, just so I can buy myself time. If he comes into the fight, um, I'll just try to kite him out and see what happens with that. But, oop, I got... I missed. Oh, come on. I was on the side. I just want to kill these guys around him so I don't have to worry about them in the fight. That way I can just fight Rufus. I don't know if he's going to, like, spawn more of them or not, so I'd rather just have as little as possible. So make sure to clear the fight up. Especially if you're not used to the fights. I don't know what that just was. Oh, another reinforced bone axe. Some of these drop items, so. Oh. Must be Let's get this over oh. He does a name. So he's only level gear score 20, so he's like the same as us here. So it's nice. Make sure I keep hitting him with my spell. It's my most damage. Yep, he did summon something, it was invisible. I'm going to mostly not focus on him because, oh god, thank god my counter was up there. Uh, oh, I wasn't trying to feed. I'm gonna call you just because I assume he's going to respawn them eventually if I kill them. So if I just, oh, oh jeez, if I just dodge him anyways, it's probably not going to be a big deal. And they're just range guys, so like they as soon as they take aim like that, if you start sidestepping, they're gone. Plus he has an ability like that where it gives them Okay, that's not what I'm trying to do. You missed and I was standing still. That's why you're called Doof is the foreman. Zero respect from the people. I do need to feed actually. Look how low my blood is. Jesus. Feed. Use my worker's blood. I did have to use a blood rend earlier. I got stuck in a weird spot in the sun. Thank you for playing, Doofus. You're almost done. Oh, you're done. Hold F to extract. So now we'll extract the V blood from him and we'll get some... You can get anything from new crafting recipes to new vampire powers. There's all sorts of things you can get from him. So, And I got an unsullied heart. So let's go to the journal here. So Doofus gives us 
Blood Rage. So it'll shield myself and nearby allies for 110% of my spell power and increase attack speed by 25%. I like that better than the counter just because it's a little more aggressive. I can just kind of pop it and jump in and let things hit me with a shield rather than having to make sure I time it to get a pushback. And frankly, I don't really care for pushback too much. So get some decent items in there. Another chest. So this is where Doofus is if you want to find him. Um, creatures do roam. Claim that, I guess. Creatures do roam, so I don't know if he'll stay here the whole time, but this he's a foreman, so I'm assuming this is his kind of stomping grounds here, right? So I'm going to keep heading west and finish tracking this alpha wolf. I did get that. So we can get his ability, which is a shape shift, which is nice because increases movement speed, which is very useful, obviously, for getting around the map when you're not worrying about trying to harvest or anything like that. I'm assuming he's just around these wolves here because this area is called the Wolf Den. So, you know, the math adds up, right? So let's kill these little guys here. And then I'm actually going to feed off my blood to get some health back. Because you can only get so much health back. You can see my bar isn't full right there. That's because my max health is taken down. So I have to use the blood rend or potentially some other in-game items that I don't really have access to at this point to get my max up. And then I could use like, you know, blood sucking abilities and other things like that to gain back that that missing max health. But for now, that's the this is the best way to go about it. So it's saying the wolf's over here. I don't see him here, so I'm going to run around. I'm going to grab this copper before I get in the fight because it's copper. And I'm assuming he's just kind of patrolling this area. So let's go find him and kill this next boss. Here he is. He was kind of sneaking up on me almost. Look, he's trying to take out that deer right now. Oh, he got behind the tree. Oh, I hit him still. You can see his gear score is 16, so he is a little lower than us. And another guy is here, so I'm going to try and put them in the middle of each other so they hit each other like that. We'll just sandwich this wolf together, have an NPC help us out. Sounds like he summoned a wolf. Yep, there they are. Ouch, jerks. So I used my Blood Rage where I get that extra attack speed. I'm, I'm getting uh, dealt by that stun boy over here. Kind of annoying me. There he goes. The wolf took him out for me. Appreciate you, Wolfie. Put this on. Gain a little shield. Can just be aggressive and get in there. Now let's extract our blood. I don't think we gain any recipes from this one. I didn't notice it in the blood altar. But we will get that movement speed that we talked about. And I love it because when you do get the V-blood, it kind of destroys a lot of stuff around it. So it's pretty useful for gathering resources at times, too. It's like a as an odd secondary mechanic. So like use that to your advantage when you find them because you can kill them multiple times. What am I? 2% so I don't really care about feeding at the moment. I'm going. We've already cleared this out. They're just kind of respawning so I'm not too worried about them. I'm going to just continue on out of here. I'll kill along the way just to Maybe get myself a nice worker blood again. Maybe get some resource increase. But if not, I'm just going to kind of start heading home. And what is this? That's the cemetery. I'm not going over there. And then I'm going to come round up to this bandit trapper camp here. Because by the size of this, I'm going to assume there's a boss in there. And then I can just kind of cut through and then head home that way. But if I go here... And we can see, where is that? Oh, Vampire Powers. So we can see I've got this power now, and it's on our wheel here. So I can't click it there. There we go. So turn into a swift creature, increasing my movement speed by 45%. Taking damage breaks the effect. So using that while you hold steel won't work because obviously, or sorry, silver, not steel. Uh, because you're obviously taking damage while you're holding on to silver. But other cases, what was that? Lumberjack Axe? Hello. Lumberjack's axe, 7.4 physical damage, uh, 6.8 for the reinforced, and then 25 physical damage to wood, 50% physical damage to wood. That's awesome. And that came from these workers down here. So if you want to get that, come to this bandit logging camp. I wonder if we'll find something similar for like a spear up there, perhaps. That was a really cool find. I hadn't found a unique... I'm going to call that unique because I don't know if we can craft it. 
but that's a nice unique mob drop right there. I've, that's the first one I've stumbled across, so that was pretty neat. I'm actually uh, really excited for this because that means my wood cutting is going to grow exponentially with this. Look at this damage. Beautiful. Yeah, guys, if you're loving V Rising, you do want to keep seeing more of this solo PvE experience. Make sure you do hit that like button down below. Leave me a comment letting me know how your game is going so far. And as usual, if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well so you do get back here for that sweet shabby content as well as the next episode, of course. Like, that's what you're here for, right? All right, come on. Kill this guy. Boom. Sucker went down, got the paper. I like killing these humanoids for the paper and checking out the camps as well because, like I was saying, we'll see that when we get back because I'm going to build the research desk. But what that'll do is it'll allow us to research new items in the game, whether it's like armor or other things. I don't want to go too deep into it. But that'll help us in the end game because, what is it? It's I don't know if it grows exponentially after use, but at least in the start, it takes 50 paper to research a random item, kind of like when you use salvage and rust, okay? So, or, like I said, you do have a chance to find books either. I don't know if they're from mob drops, potentially. I feel like I got one from a boss drop before, but I wasn't quite paying attention. So, unconfirmed, leave me a comment down below if you know otherwise. But we can find them in chests, and they look like this. So, I found this in a chest. Let me get in the sh shade here. Uh, we got the Merciless Night Stalker vest. And the Merciless series is actually the next step after Copper. So, with this, I can... You can salvage these if you don't have them or if you get duplicates for paper. Or you can bring these to the research station and use it to research this specific item. <clears throat> and here you can see this one's a minor some resistance brew. Bring the book to the research desk to unlock that technology. So there are many ways to find technology. Whether it's through, uh, you know, hunting, resource gathering, adventuring, etc. Or just getting the paper and doing it that way manually as well. And it requires a little bit of luck, of course, because it's random what you're going to get, right? All right, I'm going to head to this little camp up here, the uh, the Bandit Trapper Camp, and hopefully not die along the way in the daytime. See what boss is there, and then we'll head back and assess the base and do a little bit of gear score grinding to get our gear score back up a bit. This person's called Deadeye. I don't know if they're like a... They're not a boss, because it doesn't say V-Blood on them, like it would if it was a boss. But And I just got a bone crossbow from that guy. But I'm assuming it's a special character. I'm going to kind of head up here a bit. Make sure I put that on so if I get hit there, I can... Whoop, <laughs> take a little bit of that damage. Excuse me, can I... Can you come over here? Yeah, you're pretty strong. 26 gear score. Ooh, ouch. That rogue had 50% blood on him. That's pretty nice. Ouch. All right, I'm going to hide behind this tree for a second here and uh, use a little blood rend to get my health up a bit. Obviously, if she comes up on me like this, i got to dodge behind her and give her a couple wacky poos. That's all right. Not too bad. Archers are usually pretty easy to kill. My only issue right now is that uh, it's daytime, so I need to be in the sun for a bit or I'm going to I'm gonna be sorry. So I can use these abilities to long range her down, but obviously her range is a little bit better than mine. Come on. Thank you for playing. Tainted Heart, Whetstone, I think that just said. I hate how sometimes like how fast it picks things up, but I've got two Whetstones now. That's pretty good. Let's go grab these goodies here, and I'm going to just go kill these other stuff and feed. But let's take a look at this crossbow we got. So 6.8 physical power. I'll toss it up here. Let's give it a couple. Let's give it some whirls. A little bit of a range on him, obviously. Okay. So it does about the same. Eh, the damage is actually pretty good, actually. I will say that damage is pretty good. I'm going to make sure to leave that one alive so I can feed appropriately. Okay, I killed it. I was hoping my aim was better than that, but it's not. That one's only 2%, but I am going to feed on it. That's all right. That's just what happens. Is that a book or is that leather? Leather. Okay. Okay. So again, like I said, I'm going to use my blood rend again, get my max health back up, and then we're going to go check out this camp, and I'll show you guys if there's anything decent in here. here ooh, I've got out of the sun moved. There's another boss, you can tell, because it says V-Blood in its description. Oops, I didn't see you there. Hello, friend. 
There you go. So you can see it says V blood. So that means it's a boss. So that means I want to make sure we kill her. And I need to get back in this, the shade here. Uh, this is not a good place for me to fight. So I'm going to lure her back here for a fight. Yeah, this is not enough shade. Oh, wait, is this shade? Nope, not shade. Ooh, that's 50% blood right there. Take that warrior blood. Good upgrade. So now with this, I've got some increased physical power. Looks maybe to be about 15% because it's halfway through. And we get reduced cooldown on weapon skills. I don't have any weapon skills. We don't have those unlocked just yet. You get that started with copper weapons. But, oh, good. Sh shade. And there's the archer boss, so that's perfect timing. I'm just going to wait for that cooldown to come, and that'll be my initiation skill. Boom. Come early. You be Maybe I'll range her. Ouch. Okay. Didn't, didn't do a good job dodging. The moon is rising. You're dead now. You're dead. You're mine. There she is. Uh, what you doing? Whoop! Got her. Your invisibility is no match for my prowess. Take you down to your own game. Ouch. She's better than me at her own game. Makes sense. I was like, I lost sight of her. There she goes. Get that feed. There's a fight going on over there. I don't know what's happening. Come on, extract that nonsense. It's beautiful. Thank you for the fight. A rat. I don't know if I have rats on me. I'll probably drop it if I don't. My inventory is a bit full. So we've got a new ability now with her. Let's check it out. Oh, there's the guys in here. Hello, friends. 3%, 9%. All right, perfect. So we got a new ability. Um, I wish it kind of gave me a mark up here to know. Unholy Illusion Chaos Frost. So we got Frost Bat. Launch a projectile that explodes upon impact, dealing magic damage, and inflicts chill. Let's replace this and see how that works. I might want to replace those. Those are such weird locations for buttons, but I'm not sure what buttons I want to use yet. Oh, hello, friend. Okay, kill them. Easy fight. Easy fight. Come here. I need a better creature to hit both of these with. Everything's dead. What is this? A bear? What, did the bear break out and give them a, a fight for their own money? So 16. So obviously the damage is less, but it gets like a slow with that chill. Oh, and I can cast a couple of them. Oh, it has two charges. And has a cooldown of eight seconds. So hitting a chilled enemy will freeze it. So if I use both in a row, I'll get a freeze on a fire blossom seed. Yeah, I definitely want that. Um, ooh, vermin self. Um, I'll use it just to get rid of it. Same with getting rid of this rat and pick up that fire blossom seed because uh, farming will be pretty good. Farming is going to be pretty good. I haven't delved into it myself, obviously, but... I can only assume it's going to be fantastic. All right, I'm going to just gather a little bit. We're already next to home, so I'll meet you back at the house. Ooh, check it out. I broke a chest, and we got the Merciless Night Stalker vest. It's already what I have, but I can break that into 10 pieces of paper. So in my book, that's gold. So I'm going to drop... Man, I'm going to drop the stone dust and grab that. So now I've got two of those books, as we can see here, if I swap this like down here. So I've got two Merciless Night Stalker vests. I'll put, we'll make something later for salvage, and I'll put that in there. Thank God I turned back to pick that chest up because uh, we, got, we almost missed some good stuff. Don't want to miss those goodies, so make sure you break your chests. Um, that kind of confirms for me because I wasn't sure how the loot tables worked with the chests, like in all the breakables. Not the chests, but the breakables. Oh, look, the Frost Archer's back. I'm going to just kill her again for funsies. But... Going to get a lot more I like how... Oh, she can't take freeze damage. Um, but the 
the breakables around seem to have some sort of loot table. I'm assuming based on the demographic or the geography that you're in. So that's really fun and interesting. So that means you, there's a lot to explore with the possibilities and to make sure that you actually break your chests and barrels and maybe even tables. I don't know about the tables, but I break them for fun because fuck their tables. I'm heading back now, and this is our swift form, so obviously I've got a little bit of a meat movement speed boost, 45% to be precise. I don't know where I'm going. I had to walk around, and I got lost. And there's a bear hanging out down here, so we're just going to go back into our home. I'm going to throw all of our resources into our containers, and we'll see what we can build now with the copper that's been made and also the planks that have been sitting there for quite some time now. Because while we were harvesting before, we kept dropping wood off, so... So come into the furnace. <clears throat> I'm going to dump in half in here. And I'm just going to dump half over here. I'm also going to grab those 12 bars. Again, not a lot of bars for what we put in, right? That was a couple stacks. So uh, I'm going to grab our dust here. I'm going to put in the wood. Um, put that in here and that in here. And then I'm just going to get the other one topped up as well. Beautiful stuff. And let's build our... Actually, I should probably keep some of that wood. Give me that. Let's build a research desk. So, production, research. I need 80 stone. So, I didn't keep stone on me. But I've got 500 right there. So, here's the research desk. I'll just kind of plop this. I can't put it there. I'll put it just right next to these chests for the moment. Again, we'll reorganize as we get bigger. So, here... You can see these are what I have the recipes for. So I've got the armor for the Merciless Night Stalker. Research it. And obviously I've got it again, but I can't research it again. And then I've got this consumable, and it'll increase some resistance by 25. So we'll get that. I don't know where I would make that, but, you know, I got it. So I'll break this down once we build the next, um, what's I'm gonna call it, the thing. But now it wants us to upgrade the Castle Heart. So I can do that, but it's going to require 12 copper ingots. And right now, I'd rather not spend the copper. I'd rather use that to upgrade us. So the first thing I want to do is build a copper base. As with any survival game I play, the first thing I always upgrade is my pick. In this case, it's a mace. And I actually do quite enjoy the mace thus far for an actual melee weapon. It's not bad. So I do like it. Now, we'll let that craft for a second. Let's come in here and see what else we've got. So I can make a woodworking table. So let me grab that, and I'll place this... Um, I'll just kind of place it over here so it's out of the way for the moment. And at this woodworking table, we can now make a fishing pole? Yeah. Uh, a crossbow. I did like the crossbow a bit. I might look into that a bit more, but a little later... And then painting frames and some sculpted wood. So these are like some resources for crafting. Uh, I'm going to build the fishing pole because uh, we love fishing, okay? And unlike Icarus, this exists. And this is actually, hey, this is early access. And Icarus is a fully released game, okay? I don't know. I'm not pointing fingers. I'm just saying. I can fish. And I love it. So I'm going to dump this in here. Now I've got the upgraded copper mace. I wonder if there's like a mining outpost somewhere around here. So like how this was a logging camp. I want to go find like a better mace. That gives me 50% damage to, to ores, because that's a pretty cool buff. All right, and with that, that's really the only upgrade I care about for this stuff. We can do this as well, but I need leather. Ooh, and I have enough cloth for the Traveler's Wrap. I'm going to get the Traveler's Wrap, because that's what we use cloth with. And I need to get a Night Stalker's Vest, and then I can then create the next upgrade, which would be 40 health, and it's a set. Uh, max health increases physical power by one and gear score by one. That's pretty cool. That's not too shabby. So, what's next, right? So, we do need to upgrade this. I'm going to progress once I have the ingots, but I don't have the leather, right? So, we're going to need to get something to do leather. But if we look through here, I've got the tannery. But you may not have the tannery, and you're maybe not sure how I got it. If we go here so we can see... From killing the wolf, we got this power, wolf form. From killing Doofus, I got the recipe for the woodworking bench, his power, and then the recipes involved with the woodworking bench that we saw. And then Keelan the Frost Archer gave us her Frostbat skill, gave us the tannery, so this is who you need to kill so you can get the tannery, and then also the recipes, traveling wrap, empty canteen, and then a leather. 
I don't even know what this is for because I don't drink water, so. <sighs> but the next one we can see here is Errol the Stonebreaker. So we can go get him. I like him because that big stash is actually really good. So I'll put the tracker on now. We'll go get him next. And that'll help us explore a little bit more of the place. I better turn this on. Thank you. And let me see. What do I have in here? Give me those. That's perfect. Give me those. And then let's build our tannery. So I'll, pl I'll plop it just over here. Just right next to the woodworking bench. Looks pretty nice together. Again, we'll do some big reorganization later. Uh, let me get a big sort and put all of our hides in here. I'm going to keep uh, 250 for myself just in case I need them for crafting later. If I need the leather, I'll grab it out of the chest and put it in. But otherwise, it's it's existing. Just like this wood here. Oh, and this copper. Give me that copper. I don't want that. I put that away. Come back. I'm going to put this. I'm going to split this copper. So again, oops. So again, middle click and then just right click to move it in. It's good stuff. And now we've got this working. So I'll grab some leather. So I'll skip a little bit of time so we can upgrade our castle heart so we can see what kind of comes next for our quest line here. But like I keep saying, guys, if you're loving this vampire empire survival craft make sure you do smash like below i really appreciate it. it helps me out a lot it lets me know what you guys are loving as well as let me know how your games are going what are you playing you in a pvp server what are you what are you, what is this golem is a golem up here the hell was that is he down there uh excuse me there's a golem in my base son of a bitch i'm gonna have to like build a build a thing here to stop him from messing with me uh uh fundamentals Palisades. Oh, I don't have fibers. That's fine. Uh, there's a golem up there. I can't kill him. But yeah, make sure you hit <laughs> like and subscribe down below so we can keep this series rolling here. Oh boy, there's a golem in my base. Now that is quite unfortunate. While waiting for that last thing too, I want to see what this giant rat's all about. So we found some fish bones. Where'd it go? It's right there. I found some fish bones. So I want to throw those in take those out and put a little bit of fibers in here i want to see what this giant rat is all about it says we can get some leather and a chance for low grade seeds so that could be a phenomenal thing for us so i'm pretty excited to see what that's all about and how that works i need three more leather to finish this off let me see if i have it sitting in a chest i could but i kind of doubt it just start storing all of this other stuff away as well you can use, make sure you use this compulsory sort too, because that'll just move like items in there. Yep, give me that. And do that. Thank you. Look at the... Oh my god, it's attacking me. So these things are vicious. So good way to potentially get creature blood though too, because, you know, this is... Come on, give me one more hit. Feed 9% for creature blood, so it's not bad. It's not as good as what I have, so I'm just going to kill him, obviously. But I got a fire blossom seed and some animal hide, so that's actually a pretty decent thing to do. So now that I got my fishing rod. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. So now that I've got my fishing rod, maybe I'll uh go get some fish go get some fishes and see how that works. I only got animal hides that time. So it said it's a chance for low grade. And then actually if I use four fish bones, I don't know how to get grave dust and a twilight snapper, I get a putrid wrap. The blood of this rat could be useful. Very interesting. This is a cool... This is a really interesting device here. But I've got enough leather now. Let's upgrade our castle heart like we keep saying we'll do. Upgrade. So now with that, we can claim this. And then complete a castle room by laying down floors and building surrounding castle walls to then generate a roof. So to build a roof, you need floors and walls. So... That's how you encompass. So like right now, even though I have walls, even if I connected them all, you wouldn't have a roof. That's why you got to build this mist thing to be careful in the game. So what we're going to do is um, we're, on the next episode, we're going to go out and kill Arrow the Stonebreaker, do a little more exploring, get some more resource gathering because I need to build production refinement. I need to build a grinder, so I need to get wet stones. And in order to do that, what's my thing? 23. Can I see them? Yes. Yeah, so... If we find Lydia the Chaos Archer, we can get the Devourer, which will break items down. We get Gorswine the Ravenger. Uh, we can then get Tombs, and we can put flowers to raise various undead and then slay, slay them once more for their remains. 
and then some sort of fence so we can get like skeletons and stuff so we can get bone dust and bones at home grace in the armor is the one i want because then we can learn how to build a whetstone which is i think at the furnace yep so a copper ingot and then stone dust would give us whetstone so i either want to go find a couple more out in the wild or find that recipe so that we can keep going but all right guys that's gonna wrap this up episode up here make sure to subscribe for the next one and as usual brothers and sisters i hope the rest of your day is not too shabby